హలో అండి అందరికీ నమస్తే నేను మీ నేహ చౌదరి ముందుగా వన్ థర్టీ వీ ప్రేక్షకులు అందరికీ కూడాను మహిళా దినోత్సవ శుభాకాంక్షలు సో ఇవాళ జరగబోయేటటువంటి ఇంటర్వ్యూ చాలా ఇన్ఫర్మేటివ్గా ఎక్సైటింగ్గా అండ్ అలాగే ఇన్స్పైరింగ్గా ఉండబోతుంది ఎందుకంటే మనం మాట్లాడబోతున్నాము యుఎస్ కౌన్సిల్ జనరల్ జెనిఫర్ గారితోటి సో బోలెడ్ అని క్వశ్చన్స్ ఉన్నాయి చాలా చాలా విషయాల గురించి మాట్లాడుకోవాలి పదండి Firstly, hello Jennifer. Uh, thank you so much for giving us the opportunity to host you on the special occasion of the International Women's Day. Uh, firstly, I wanted to know because you've been staying in India for a while. Mm-hmm. So how do you feel about India? How are you enjoying it here? So I, I love it here. This is actually my second time. Um, I've been in Hyderabad for close to a year and a half, but I was also in Mumbai for four years, a few years back. Uh, so I came back to India. And my last job in the State Department was also the director of the South Asia office, including India. So it's been close wow. to my heart for a very long time. I'm very happy here. Awesome. So happy to know that. But you're staying away from your hometown, home mm-hmm. country, and you're working in a different uh, country. So how do you handle that? Being a woman, how do you balance things? It's hard, um, especially when your your family is so far away. I mean, I know many people here also have, I mean, it's particularly here in Andhra and Telangana, have a lot of family in the United States. And so with the time difference there, you just have to, like I stay up really late at night so I can talk to my mom and my dad, for example. Or, you know, you do FaceTime or Zoom calls with your nieces and nephews but um it's difficult and uh you know i i'm here on my own but i have an amazing group of friends and so that also really helps with them being a diplomat is a challenge every day as you play the role of bridge between us and india and uh, we wanted to know is how was this in the initial days of your job because we know this is so challenging to deal every individual so how was it in the initial days my first posting was back in uh, beirut lebanon and Um, and we move every two or three years and so it becomes it is challenging to change your location so often um, especially if you've made friends and um, and you've made a foundation right for your life and then you have to pick it up um, but you know slowly slowly i think you get used to it and you get more experienced um, and then when you come to a place like like hyderabad where everybody has been just so so welcoming it's i mean it's a city known for its hospitality it makes things really that much easier and you've been uh, working in different consulates also yeah. we go from one place to another we have we have multiple consulates in india so i was in mumbai and then now here i'm the consul general in hyderabad but um yes we do we do move a lot okay but it also you worked for uh, china pakistan bangladesh so, i used to live in pakistan i worked i was in lahore um and then back when i was in washington i ran the office which included bangladesh india nepal sri lanka maldives and uh, bhutan so a big big geographic yeah. uh, indo-pacific uh, <laughs> portfolio but it was super, it was super fun where was the country that you've never been to it seems like uh, you are watching right. everywhere oh i you know i think i think i would love to go to antarctica right oh I, mean, my God. I mean that's not not that's not a country but it would be just it looks amazing uh, so jennifer as we talking and we get to know that you travel a lot uh, also your job you worked as a consulate for in pakistan in bangladesh and in sri lanka china like there's a different countries so on our job Uh, as diplomats are to represent the United States in the country to which we're assigned like India for example uh, and then to act as a bridge essentially between for me in this case India Hyderabad or this part of India in particular and the United States for me being here uh, at this time with the friendship between the United States and India being so strong it's a really great time to be here um, it's a pleasure doing work here doing outreach whether it be for women's day or with english language which programs or whether it be for all of the students the telugu speaking students that go to the united states um, close to half of all indian students in the united states come from andhra and telangana yes. i mean it's amazing so my job is easy <laughs> i mean not always but <laughs> generally <laughs> you're making it look easy but it's not <laughs> no 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 there's always policy issues and you know we have such a big consulate here um we just moved in oh it's been almost a year to a brand new place in nanakaramguda 
and that's just been sensational. Um, the, the city has been so great, so gracious to us with the land and with the support that we get. You all should come by sometime. It's really, it's, it's a marvelous, it's a marvelous building. Love to, love yeah. to. Uh, so Jennifer, uh, you've been working in Hyderabad as a council journal for U.S. Uh, consulate from quite a, some time. Yes, yes. So I'm sure you are aware of Hyderabad food, yeah. et air, and our culture. And so yes. we wanted to know, know about you and a lot of things. Okay. So our ladies here wanted to ask I, you I a few good, questions. Good. So love it. over to you ladies. Yeah. Hi Jennifer. Happy Women's Day. Happy Women's Day. I am Hima Bindu. I'm an entrepreneur and a radio jockey. So you said uh, you passed long back to you stay in India. In Hyderabad, what do you like in food way? Which food your favorite? So I I love halim. I'm, oh! yeah. <laughs> I know. Yeah, it's the, I, I'd never had it before at all uh, until yeah, I came yeah. here. Um, and I think the first time I had it was during Ramzan last year. So um, I love that. I love Indian breakfast. I love wow. dosa and idli. For, yeah. um, uh, so you know, the more masala, the better. Uh, oh. yeah, so I don't I don't I don't mind Surprise. spice. The, the, the food here the food here is fantastic. Yeah. Thank you, yeah. thank you so much. You liking Indian food too? Yeah, I love Indian food. <laughs> thank yes. you. Haven't you tried the biryani? I have tried biryani. In fact, I had I, I had <laughs> I some yesterday. Oh, you had some yesterday. <laughs> yeah, we, we had it at the office. Uh, oh. So we had some visitors. So we have, yeah, it's yeah, Hyderabad is well known for its biryani, but there's yeah. so much more. There's so much more. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Hi, ma'am. This is Ravali from Manita TV. Hey. First of all, happy Women's Day to you. Happy Women's Day. And I have a question for you. Why? What kind of uh, traditional attire you like here? So, I mean, you are all wearing beautiful saris. Um, oh, I, I, I very colorful. I opted today just for a kurta suit. Um, yeah, kurta. But I, I love, what I love yeah. are the... You are looking so beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> the, just the handiwork, right? Yes. yes. That you get, yes. that you find here on, yes. on the saris. Yes. It's, it's stunning. Um, so I've, uh, I've, I find them so beautiful. And I mean, Indian, I mean, the, the traditional Indian attire is just, I mean, it, it looks amazing on everybody, especially, the, especially for, for women. But even the men, everybody looks good in a shawani, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shirwani Kurta, <laughs> she's, she's, she's there now. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> we wanted to know is, uh, why did you choose the path as into foreign services? So what made you? So uh, when I was in younger, I thought I would be an Egyptologist, so an archaeologist in oh. Egypt, right? Yeah. <laughs> Who knows why? <laughs> so I started studying Arabic, and then I did my uh, master's and my undergraduate degree in Arabic literature and um, French and Spanish. And so once I was living in Cairo for the first time, um, I realized I was more interested in international current affairs. And so that's what led me really to pursuing this path, was having studied languages and then moving to a place. Um, I think being able to study somewhere in a foreign country is such a blessing. It's really a gift. I mean, it really opens up your, your eyes to, to the rest of the world in a really meaningful way. So I mean, that's kind of where it started. You learned languages mm. like... Arabic, Spanish, French, uh, Turkish, and um, a little bit I can read uh, Greek, and I'm teaching myself Urdu. Wow. So, Telugu is too difficult. As we are here on the speaking about languages, uh -huh. as you said, Telugu is a very cute way. Yeah. So we want you to say uh, uh, to our audiences, <laughs> Andar ki namaste. Andar ki namaste. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So Jennifer, we wanted to know is, you know, you handle such crucial assignments and you keep on traveling around the globe. Uh, we wanted to know is, is there any one particular woman or somebody uh, that inspired you so much and also in the workplace, the your women who inspired you the most? Well, I just mentioned my mother, and I think that goes without saying. Um, you know, an immigrant who learned English, um, who uh, traveled, met somebody overseas, got married, moved to the U.S. Mm -hmm. you know, I thought that's something that happens here in India, too, yeah. often. People moving, to, you know, especially to the United States, yeah. starting a new life. Uh, I admire that very much. Um, we have amazing women colleagues in the in the uh, embassy here, to mm -hmm. include our deputy chief of mission, Pat Lysina. Hi, Pat. I'm going to send this to her. <laughs> uh, so, and inspirational. I mean. At the State Department, you know, at the senior levels, we are still underrepresented, um, and it'll take a while to change. And I think you see that at senior levels in most countries, most industries, is that uh, women are still 
maybe 30%, if that. Um, but I was speaking with a group of women entrepreneurs, uh, it was the day before yesterday, mm -hmm. and they were talking about the the, the um, very deliberate ways they are trying to hire women, especially at the, 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 the lower to mid levels, mm -hmm. just so that there are, eventually there'll be more women in the senior levels. Um, and then we'll all have, you know, that many more women, you know, industry leaders yeah. to take inspiration from. So on this note, as, we, as you're talking about, you know, step-by-step -step process and all, is there anything that you would like to suggest to the viewers who's watching who could just, you know, come out yeah. and take their difficulties yeah. and take the challenges yeah. like Jennifer in the work? I think education is the most important thing that you can do um, and being able to stay in school. I mean, I know that, you know, around the world, people often leave school before I mean, for family reasons, for financial yeah. reasons, I mean, this happens. But to be able to stay in school, and I that's what I encourage parents all the time, too. We, educate your kids, especially educate your daughters. Uh, and, I mean, that makes all the difference, I think. Yes. Um, pursuing, you know, pursuing the things that make you passionate, um, I think, is also really important. But, uh, you know, but as a woman, I think you do have to work a little harder. People talk about equality, and then there's equity. Yeah. And so I think we, we need to work for both of those things. Hi, ma'am. Uh, my name is Deepti. Hi, Deepti. And I'm an IT employee. First of all, a very happy Women's Day for you. Uh, it's, it's very great and pleasure to have you here today. And whatever speech you have given so far, uh, it's really filled our stomach. And it, it is so much uh, happy to be here. So I have one question for you, ma'am. So you have been in India for one and a half years, so what I've heard. So what and which place you like the most? I've been fortunate enough to travel quite a okay. bit. Uh, so I think one of the most striking places, of course, is Leh. Mm -hmm. It's just uh, incredibly beautiful. But um, I've been traveling in Orissa a bit lately, and um, it was just out in Andhra, um, to the, the you know, really beautiful coastlines. Yeah. But there's, you know, India is like an entire universe. I mean, there's... Every place is different, and yeah. so uh, I'd love to go to Himachal Pradesh. That would oh, be amazing. Yeah. Recently in Hampi, which is, I mean, incredible. More people should know about that part yes. of you know, Indian history. It's, yes. uh, in Hyderabad also, I think you went around to see the Char yes. Minar. Of course. I think, that was the first, I think that was the first place I went, just a couple of days after I got here. Uh, we went to Char Minar. Yeah. Uh, and then, of course, um, I've done these old city food tours, which are incredible. Uh, I've, we've been down, to, we're, we um, have a grant actually with the Qutub Shahi Tombs, a restoration uh, project, and so I love going down there. That's such a you know, pretty quiet place. Um, but of course, I mean, I just, you know, there's so many things happening, so many galleries and restaurants, sure. and uh, the KBR Park is amazing to have. And all those peacocks, it's, um, it's, it's, it's fabulous to go walking around and then just count like six, seven peacocks. I mean, yeah. I just, that does not happen in where I live in the United States, in Washington. <laughs> That's the next speech. Hi, ma'am. This is Veda Priya Reddy, uh, a psychologist. Mm -hmm. So I would ask you something from psychology. Oh, okay. Women, whenever we go out, mm -hmm. just to meet anybody mm -hmm. for that matter, mm -hmm. we do have anxiety. Mm -hmm. And then now you are traveling pretty much all the time. Mm -hmm. How do you handle anxiety mm -hmm. and how do you want to teach other women to handle anxiety? I mean, if you're talking about safety, you should always be very aware of your surroundings naturally. But, um, and it's, it's important for us, you know, all to be, you know, to be vigilant. When traveling, I always let somebody know where I am, of course. Uh, in terms of anxiety or stress, um, I, I like to do, I do yoga here, of course, and so many people do. This is obviously the birthplace. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, I do a lot of reading um, that helps to kind of de-stress, I think. Uh, I find Hyderabad to be one of the safest cities I've ever seen in India, especially yes. for women. I mean, this is a you know, very modern cosmopolitan place, yeah. but it has a very safe feeling to it. US Council General Jennifer Thoti. So, in so, 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 especially you've been telling us that you love India, you've been exploring India so much. So, we have celebrations throughout the year. So, what is your favorite festival, Jennifer? The favorite one? Well, like, uh, I 
Ugadi, which is coming up, right, is a, a, an amazing one. Uh, and uh, I was lucky enough to be invited to friends' house last year to celebrate with them. Of course, the flower festival, Batukama. Batukama. Batukama, Batukama see, yeah. Um, and Holi, of course. Um, yeah. Ramzan is coming up next week. So we celebrate everything at the consulate. It's, uh, it's really delightful. Yes, the Halim will definitely be yeah. having. I can see how much you're in love with Halim because really you're excited. Good. It's really good. <laughs> <laughs> so you're actually much more aware of when the celebration is going to start. The Ramzan is going to come very soon. Yeah, you very next week. Yep. You're aware of mm -hmm. that for the food? Yeah, yeah, well, I, I'm very excited about the food. food. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so. Glad to know that. Yes. And is there any particular fest or an event uh, after mm -hmm. coming to an India that you have been there? Because in US or other countries, we keep mm -hmm. seeing some of the carnivals or the right. events keep happening. So over here? Well, here, I mean, just going to, uh, I've been fortunate to be able to go to many weddings here. And if the, you know, uh, an Indian an Indian wedding is is from something simple to something very extravagant, but there's always something very special about it. Uh, and um, I've been lucky enough to go to some where it's just been you know amazing to you know to do different things over several days. Uh, we we don't have that same tradition in the United States. Mm -hmm. That's one thing that I've certainly enjoyed doing since I've been here. Awesome. Good to know that. And and last but not the least, you also said there's a lot of students, kids who've been trying to move to U.S. for their education yes. or for a job. But especially, let's talk about women mm -hmm. who are trying to uh, move to U.S. Yes. or a different country. What do you suggest to them to take care of things or any yeah. suggestions you would like to give to them? Well, first of all, I encourage you to follow your, your educational dreams. Um, I would hope that they take you to the United States, but perhaps you stay here in India, perhaps you go somewhere else. Uh, we do have an advising service at the consulate which we, um, we, talk with, we talk with families too because really I think higher education, especially going abroad for an Indian student, is a family decision. Yes. Um, and we talk about how to be safe, women's safety, uh, which is very important. Um, and we talk about how, how you adjust to living on campus, for example, exactly. or getting your own apartment. Um, what are the best ways to do that? I encourage uh, young women doing STEM, doing arts, doing doing laws, doing math. All all of these um, are the U.S. is a really great place to to do higher education in in any of these fields. So, I mean, our consulate is open all the time. Uh, we're happy to do briefings and um, and I say just choose the right school though. Also, you, when you do a little bit of research, find the school that is perfect for you, Correct. not just the ones that you've heard about. Yeah, what suits them the better, according yeah, to some Absolutely. Some, some like smaller, some like larger, some like all women's uh, colleges. Like my nieces chose all women colleges. Oh. Some like bigger university. Okay. So, I mean, the, the option is there in the U.S. So that, so that you suggest do the more research yeah. on what they're yes, doing. Yes, yes. Hello, ma'am. Happy Women's Day. Happy Women's Day. This is Madhushri. I'm from Vanita TV. Do you watch Telugu movies, ma'am? I, I do watch Telugu movies. Uh, I watch a lot of movies, frankly. But um, uh, you know, of course, we all know about RRR. It did so well in the U.S. I mean, Hanuman, I think, did really well. Oh. Just yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 I, uh, it's, I, I get I get a lot of good recommendations from my friends. Um, I saw Javan recently. Yeah. I love going going to the theaters. Here is like super fun, right? Because you have I mean, comfort. The chairs are really nice. There's an intermission. Everybody's like, especially for the the really popular Indian films. Everybody. Gets that's into it. Uh, Jennifer, I uh, wanted to let you know is uh, Vanita TV is very happy in the uh, association with the general councils and also been giving all the update and re uh, relevant information on the TV too. Uh, I wanted to know is that uh, one word or one some suggestion if you could give to a woman who's watching out there, what would that be? So please. I really wish you all a joyous Women's Day, but to remember uh, that it's not just March 8th. <laughs> ah, <laughs> it's every Love day. It. It's every day, all year round. I mean, I appreciate that we can celebrate this together here with you and with Vanita and with the, the people around the table, but um, we need to be thinking about these things every day. Yeah, just follow your dreams. I mean, I know that that sounds like it's uh, easier said than done, but um, that's I, I think that's something that we all should be doing all the time. Yes. Yeah. So happy Women's Day. Thank you. 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 Th
thank you thank so you. so much this is really honor and pleasure having you here on yeah. vanita tv today uh, as you have spoken and suggested uh, for our students also mm -hmm. and you told us about the culture that you are enjoying and your experience and your inspirations we are so happy to have you here and uh, wish you all the best thank you and uh, happy women's day to everybody who's thank watching you. Thank, thank you, you. Thank you. Happy Women's Day. Day.